guys, I'm Rebecca Shores and today I'm going to be showing you how to apply lipstick. This video is perfect for anyone that's looking to wear either a bolder lip color, maybe you're looking to try for a red lip, or if you just want a really crisp, clean line and basically a perfectly applied lipstick. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because this is the first installment of a series of how to's where I'm going to be going over the basics of makeup. So let's get started on this tutorial. A key step in having a flawless lipstick application is making sure your lips are well prepped. I use the Smith's Rosebud Solve and I apply this all over my lips while I'm getting ready. And then I grab a Q-tip right before I'm ready to apply my lipstick and I roll that across my lips. This is going to take off any of the excess product as well as exfoliate any dead skin that we have. I will also link in the corner a tutorial on how I care for my lips. The next step is going to be a lip primer. I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime Lip. This is my favorite lip primer and the NYX lip primer is also a great drugstore alternative. Lip primers are great because they're gonna give you some added moisture as well as prolong the wear of your lipstick. I also find that they protect your lips from drying out if you do have a very matte lipstick. Next up is lining your lips. I'm gonna be showing you how to line your lips with a clear liner as well as a colored. So we're gonna start off with a clear. The Urban Decay 24-7 Liner in ozone is what I'm going to be using today. Clear lip liners will help with any feathering or bleeding. So all you want to do is apply that to the perimeters of your lips. If you really want to define your lip shape, then you want to use a colored liner. This is also going to help the lipstick last even longer because it's going to give you a waxy base. Make sure this liner is well sharpened because we want a very crisp line. You can also go for a nude liner if you don't have a liner that actually matches your lipstick. That will also prolong the wear. So I start out by defining my cupid's bow. As you can see, I do this by creating an X. So I go from one side at the very tip of the point of the cupid's bow and pull downwards and then repeat on the other side. The next step is to add a line on the bottom of your lip. So as you can see, I don't use the point. I put it on its side so you can drag it along. That's going to help you get really clean, crisp lines and you've more control. Then I go ahead and I line the outer corners of my mouth by pulling upwards. And your next step is going to be connecting from that X and pulling down to where you've created that corner line. And repeat that on the other side. Right now we are not going to be overlining, just defining the shape of our lips. So as you can see, I also use my pinky. This is what gives me some stability. So as you can see, I plant it firmly on my chin and I use that so my hand isn't shaking while I'm creating the lines. Now I go from the other outer corner and I'm dragging that downward to connect to that bottom line. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in my entire lip. You don't have to do this step if you don't find that your lipstick really needs any help in lasting. But if you're having any trouble with your lipstick being patchy or you want this to last all day, go ahead and fill your lips all the way in with the colored lip pencil because this is just going to give you a waxy base and prolong the wear even more. Go ahead and give your lips a rub together so that you're diffusing that through the little lines. Now is when you want to correct. My lips are not very even, so I go ahead and overline just to make them look a little more symmetrical right now. This is going to vary depending on your lip shape. So I usually start at the cupid's bow and I work my way down. When you are working in the corner, you wanna be mindful to not overline this very far if you want a more natural look because this is where it can start looking a little bit artificial. So now that your lips are lined, we're gonna go in with our actual lipstick color. I'm using the Marc Jacobs Lamarck Lip Cream in Goddess. And I like to apply this right out of the bullet. I don't like to use a lip brush for the entire time because I find that that's just kind of a waste of time. And so I'm gonna apply that to my bottom lip and then the top lip being mindful to not go over the lines that we created. And then I smack my lips together so the color diffuses well. Now I go in with a lip brush. I'm using the Sigma Lip 05 brush and I use this to just define my lips. So I bring this all the way out to the parameter of where we applied that red lipstick or your clear liner, depending on which liner option you opted for. And I just run this along using the base, so the actual ferrule rather than the tip as my kind of leading point. This is going to help your lines be a little more crisp. If your lines got a little bit wonky somewhere, we can quickly clean that up. It's not an issue. I'm using the NARS 
Chantilly Concealer, and I'm using this on a Sigma Line Perfector. And just go ahead and drag that right along the edge of your lip. You do wanna make sure you wipe your brush off with a tissue so you don't drag any of the red lipstick all over your face. And that's going to wrap up this how to apply lipstick tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and feel free to share with your friends. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next installment of my how to series. It's going to be in the back to basics playlist. For more tips, tricks, reviews, tutorials, and more, check out my blog. It's rebeccashoresmua.com. There's a link in the right hand corner. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys later.